Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's two-minute fishing report. Okay, folks, all I want to know is who turned down the thermostat? Wow, uh, what a change the weather has been this week. Uh, quite a bit cooler than what we have been uh, experiencing, to say the least. And I know there's plenty of people that uh, have had enough heat, to say the least, for this summer. Uh, but uh, quite the change in that the significant cold front that passed through the area earlier in the week definitely impacted the fish bite around the area. Uh, but uh, fish is still being caught, especially, you know, by midweek, uh, the Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Things were doing quite better than what they were uh, over the weekend. Uh, as far as the perch bite is concerned, that seems like uh, what everyone has their attention on right now is the perch. And that seems to be cooperating, quite honestly, the best in many areas. Uh, the lakes that produce perch up in the northeast included uh, North Rush, Big Stone. And Big Stone is doing quite well there. you got to sort quite a bit. A lot of smaller uh, perch, anywhere from 7 to 9 inches, something thereabouts. Maybe a few larger ones once in a while. Uh, and then also P Pius, uh, Hazleton, Bitter, Indian Springs, and then also Dry Lake by Clark. Down the southeastern part of the state, the lakes that produce uh, perch included uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Thompson, a few at Ponson, also 81 Ponds. And then also Madison Island, and then Twin. And uh, if you catch perch on Twin, folks, uh, there's no regulation on on the perch except uh, the you know your possession limit. Uh, there's no size limit on there at all. What are you guys doing to catch the perch right now? Nothing really too out of the ordinary. Uh, a lot of live baits such as uh, red worms. That seems to be the main ticket this week. Has been uh, the smaller red worms that we have. Uh, then also small middles, maggots, as well as uh, waxworms. As far as the jigs are concerned, anything that has a drop chain has been working really well. Uh, the Pilkey, the Haley, the Acme uh, D-chain uh, drop chain lure has been working well. Uh, also, the uh, Tungsten Castmasters that you can see behind me, new for this year, uh, for this ice season, has been working really well. We'll talk about that during Todd's Tackle Tips. And then also, uh, the Dakota Angler exclusive Wonder Bread Pinhead Middle has do uh, been doing uh, quite the job on the perch lately as well. Concerning the walleyes, uh, again, walleyes are being caught, uh, not as frequent as what they were, uh, but that bite's only going to get better with the cooler water temperatures. The lakes up in the northeast that produce walleyes included uh, Wabe, Bitter, Opitz, Lynn, Pius, Indian Springs, as well as Dry Lake by Clark, Goose, and then also Casey Slough for uh, new for this week. And then uh, down the southeastern part of the state, the lakes that did the same included uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Thompson, Spirit, 81 Ponds, a few at Ponset as well as Sinai, and then Campbell, Madison, Island, and then Twin. And again, Twin is the trophy lake. What have you guys been doing to catch the walleyes? And also, by the way, the Missouri River around Pier doing quite well at the same time. A lot of guys are pulling plugs yet. Uh, Salmo Hornets, uh, Berkeley Flicker Shads to be the, the two main crankbaits people are using. And also guys are still pulling spinners with uh, crawlers. Uh, slow death working really well. Uh, jigs and plastics are going to starting to come back now. And then also snap jigging uh, has been very popular this past week and the past couple of weeks. So all those techniques have really resulted in putting fish in the boat. In this week's version of Todd's Tackle Tips, we're going to talk about perch fishing this fall. Uh, and we've talked about this in year, recent years. Uh, but a lot of times people don't understand or remember that their ice fishing gear comes in handy this time of year. Uh, the lures that you use to catch perch during the ice season can help you catch those same perch this season, this open water season. And there's some new jigs out on the market right now, and you're seeing a little bit of it behind me. Uh, Acme has come out with a, a great line of uh, ice fishing jigs this year, and we already have some of that tackle on hand here at the store. Uh, the new ta uh, Tungsten Castmaster has been working really well and has been very popular because they come in a number of new uh, fish catching colors. So stop on by. If you haven't seen them yet, stop on by here at the store or uh, feel free to check it out online at dakotaangler.com. So again, now's the time to pull that ice fishing box out of your you know, storage, out of your closet, and, and take, really take a look at what can you can use out there to catch those perch because again, they're not just, those jigs are not just made for ice fishing. They're used to catch fish no matter what the season actually is. And now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And as always, folks, before we end this week's report, I want to bring a couple of things to your attention. The first thing is mark your calendars for the Dakota Angler Ice Institute, November 12th 
through the 14th here at Sioux Falls Arena and Convention Center. You're not going to want to miss this, folks. If you're interested in ice fishing, know of someone that is, relative, friend, brother, whatever the, the relationship may be, uh, you're going to want to make sure that they are attending the Ice Institute. There's a great show, great uh, a number of vendors on hand. Over 80 vendors will be on hand. Plus, this year, the seminars, the free seminars, will be back. So, again, another reason to attend this year's show here at Sioux Falls Arena, November 12th through the 14th. And also, as I've said in years uh, in recent weeks, is that uh, some of the ice fishing equipment is going to be hard to come by. So uh, when you see it at the Ice Institute, you're going to want to grab it because you don't know when you're going to find it next, and especially at such a good price. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner of Todd High Camp, and as we say around here, fish on! We'll see you next week, and again, thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe, and I appreciate all the business that you've given us throughout the past year.